I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. Well, retirement planning is one of the issues that commonly leads clients to consult financial advisors. One of its essential aspects is creating a plan to save and invest in order to provide a comfortable income in retirement. And ideally, this starts many years ahead of retirement, even as early as your first paycheck. As retirement comes closer, retirement planning expands to take in a host of other considerations, such as deciding when to retire, where to live, what kind of lifestyle that you hope to have. When retirement becomes a reality, the focus shifts to carrying out the plan. This is when having an established relationship with a financial planner can really pay off. All of this planning is crucial, yet for both financial advisors and clients, it's good to keep in mind that planning has its limits. In the post-retirement years, it may be helpful to think in terms of preparing for old age rather than planning for it. The older we get, the more important this distinction between planning and preparing becomes. Too many life-changing things can happen without regard to our best laid plans. Often, they occur very unexpectedly, resulting in emergency situations where urgent decisions have to be made, and usually quickly. A stroke, a fall, a diagnosis of a terminal illness, something like a broken hip that leaves someone unable to go back to independent living, and suddenly, I mean, right now, the family needs to find an assisted living facility or arrange for live-in help or sell a home. What are some of the ways to prepare for these contingencies? Well, first, exploring housing options uh, well in, uh, in advance is pretty good uh, advice. Find out what assisted living, home care, nursing home services and facilities are available where you live and whether they have waiting lists, as many do. Have family conversations about possibilities like relocating or sharing households. You want to research the financial side of all of these options. Investigate the costs of hiring help at home. Sometimes this can help you stay in your home longer. Um, look at assisted living facilities and nursing care centers. Find out what is and is not covered by Medicare and your long-term care insurance if you have it. For example, people are sometimes surprised to learn that Medicare does not pay for nursing home care other than short-term medical stays. Next, you want to think about designating someone to take over decision-making and do the paperwork. Execute documents like a living will medical power of attorney and contingent power of, of attorney. You need to update these as necessary and give copies to your doctors, your financial planner, and appropriate family members. Next, start relatively early to downsize. You need to do this well before you're ready to let go of possessions or move into smaller housing. Start considering what to do with all of your stuff. Focus on the decisions rather than the distribution. There's no need to get rid of possessions prematurely, but decide what you want to do with them and put that in writing. It's really important to do this while it's still your choice rather than something your family members do while you're in the hospital or in the nursing home. Next, do your best to practice flexibility and acceptance. And this is a, a hard one. I mean, no matter how strongly you want to live in your own home until the end of your life, it may not be possible. The physical limitations of aging just limit our choices. And even the best options available may not be what we would like them to be. It's a profound gift to yourself and your family members to accept these realities 
with as much grace as you can muster. And finally, don't fire your financial planner. Resist that nagging inclination to save money and go it alone. Conversely, this is probably the worst time in one's life to go it alone. And doing so could cost many times more than the savings. If retirement is still years away, don't neglect to plan for it financially. Because the bottom line is that you can't plan for all the things that might happen as you age. But you can prepare to deal with them. One of the most useful tours or tools to cope with those contingencies is having enough money. Thanks for listening.